Reading for college is unlike a number of reading situations that students have found themselves in. You know, they might be unfamiliar with the text and unfamiliar with the vocabulary. We assist students in becoming better readers and writers by, first of all, modeling some of the best practices that go into effective reading and writing, but also guiding students toward the types of thinking processes that allowed them to take those skills outside of the Writing Center. We tried to help them navigate the process in order to help them become better readers and writers. They can get feedback on a draft that they're working on, and the students determine what they, what they want assistance with at whatever stage that they're at. Students interact with the instructors and they can see um, how we are looking at their papers and therefore in the future can use that to look at the papers for themselves. I think the sky's the limit. It, it just depends on, on what a student would like assistance with. And from there, we can, we can determine uh, what the best route might be to go. The WRC is utilized at MMCC um, by students who are wanting to um, somehow enhance their learning experience. And this can be by wanting to know how to read better, or, or read more critically, I mean that's a, that's a skill we all need, right? To be more uh, critical of the information received, as well as how to write more effectively in different genres or MLA style or APA style. We get people who need help with their speeches, we get people who need help with proofreading, we get people who need help with resumes, so it's sort of everyone. I've even worked with speech students on their outlines, um, psychology papers. We even had a chemistry student a little while ago. So I think a variety of students utilize what we're doing. Well, we're not a tutoring shop. Um, that's one of the biggest misconceptions about the WRC. So if you come in, we're not going to tell you this is right, this is wrong, this is how you do something. We're going to try to help you move from where you are, what you do understand, to, to becoming better, or more of an expert in that particular area. It makes me really uncomfortable when people think that we're nothing more than an editing and a proofreading service. I really want students to know that even if they don't come in and work on a writing project, that we can look at reading their textbooks and we can look at sort of just helping them understand information. I think it's the place where successful students go because they know that getting that extra feedback and help that other outside perspective is what's going to eventually lead to a well-written paper. It's free. That's maybe another misconception that people have, that it's not free somehow, there's something, in, uh, some tuition or, or fee involved. I think it's important for students to remember that even the best writers and novelists have editors and proofreaders. Even if you're not struggling, the Writing Center can be a big help to you. Our mission really boils down to creating independent, self-directed readers and writers. And if students can have a sense of, after having worked in the Writing and Reading Center, of their own processes by working with someone else and bouncing their ideas around and they're able to start you know, taking that with them, then I think that to me is one of the greatest successes of the Writing and Reading Center. Students often make connections with other students in the WRC as well as with other instructors. Sometimes your sessions end up being this big dialogue among many people um, and where you're sharing ideas and I find that that's, that's for me is when a session is successful, when the conversation continues. They'll continue changing and you'll see their, their confidence levels rise and you'll see them um, coming in with a smile on their face and excited to work on, on school stuff and they're excited about their education and I definitely, both as a teacher and as a writing center consultant, I consider that a success. Through that conversation, um, we begin to, to talk about the particular stage that the student is at with the writing. That's very important that a student is given the opportunity to speak about what it is that uh, he or she is working on. I try not to push them too far in a direction that they're uncomfortable with, but it's usually based on exactly what the student asks for. Oftentimes students come into the center um, with one idea of what they want when they really just need something else. And so listening to them is really the key. It's okay to 
to ask for assistance. It's okay to ask for help. There's nothing wrong with that. It really is about what the student needs.